Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, F Shake Excel Master. I hope you guys are doing great today and today we are going to learn how to do addition or subtraction in a word document. Yes, this has been question asked to me many times by my friends. It is possible to do uh, a kind of addition or subtraction and many of my subscribers also they like to know is it possible? Yes, it is possible. The answer is yes, it is possible and today we are going to see how can we do it. So let us quickly jump into the example. We have it over here. But before that, I'd just like to let you know that the data should be in a tabular format. You sh it should be in a table format. So then only we can. it is possible for us to get the calculations done. So I would like to have the total of these Ali, Roshan, Faraz over here in a total format. So once you select the table, place the cursor where you like to have the total automatically the table tool will be activated select layout select formula and sum above and you can select the number formatting I would like to have the number formatting in this way so here we have it's 1000 wow now let us add another entry 400 and again so this time if you see it the formula is already existing over here it is automatically calculated so it is highlighting in a light gray color select formula sum above here we have and let us do the subtraction now formula sum above here we have 600 now I just like to inform you friends that in case if you don't have a data in this cell then the cell will be able to read only from 500 because it understands that there is no data above it. So I'll just show it to you how it looks 100. So if you like it, that data to read it, put a value as 0 above 200. So this is a way how you do addition and subtraction in a vertical way in a Word document. Now let us look in a horizontal. Again, same way, same method. You select the table, table layout, table tools, layout, formula. Now, this time, sum. Right. Alright. Right. And format. Yep. We have it over here. Now, let us minus 400. Again, we'll go formula. Right. So, it's 200. And in case if you don't have any data, it should read only as 100. Yeah, this is reading. And here we go again. Some right, 600. Now, in case if you like to do now this, we are doing reading the data from right to left. And in case if you need to read the data from left to right, then you need to select again formula. It is left. Can select this okay so here it is I hope you guys you like this video so please push a like button do subscribe my channel and if you have any queries please write down back to me and I will work on it and I'll get back to you thank you have a nice day signing off for the day F shake excel master